All right, first, this is on protest. I want to make sure that's known. This was done quite a while ago. The seniors, every class had a uh, food challenge, and if you got so many points, the goal for the seniors that they hit it was for me to do the blazing challenge from uh, uh, B-dubs, and uh, they didn't, but Miss Lynn cheated, so she has no morals. So she throw that out there. She took some from the junior class to the senior class, but I love the senior class so much, I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm not even remotely close to hungry right now. I know that's our shocking with, you know, you know, the size, but I'm gonna do it anyways. But to throw a little fun, we're gonna throw a little homage out to the Hot Ones. That's a YouTube series where they do interviews. So Miss Rachel Harshman is here. She's gonna try to hit me with some Hot Ones questions while I eat some Hot Ones. And for the record, Lighthouse Ranch, much better. Get that stuff, All right. What's the worst thing you've ever done? When I was in college, Twice I did a challenge, 24 hours. Once I ate nothing but corn. The other one, nothing but broccoli. And lots of gas. What's your biggest pet peeve of being a principal? Mmm, that's a tough one. Uh, yeah, pretty good. That's tough. So, and we have to just pick one. I mean, it's so probably the biggest pet peeve is when like secretaries lie and say that you have to do a hot wing <laughs> challenge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. I'd say it's the same thing as when I was in the classroom, yes. repeating myself. Favorite teacher that works here? Mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Don't put me in that position. It's a hot question. It is a hot question. I'm not going to pick one. Least favorite teacher that works here? <laughs> it's me. There you go, Miss Taylor. <laughs> okay. Um, so what? Who's your favorite kid? Ooh, my, my kids. Oh, uh, between my two kids? Who's your favorite kid? Mm. God, I'm gonna hope this disappears. I'm gonna say my daughter, because she's 14 and will listen to this. My six year old, hopefully, he didn't pay attention. He's got no attention span. Okay. Go to restaurant. Ooh. Like, I. Ooh. Did you say Long John Silver? No, God, no. <laughs> like, it's the only restaurant I can go to for the rest of my life? Yeah. God. Ugh. Again, surprising. As a fat man, you'd think I'd have this. Ted, right now, Ted's Montana Girl. I love me a good buffalo meatloaf or steak or burger. If you could spend the day with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? Mm -hmm. Martin Luther King Jr., hands down. No questions asked. Okay. If you could go back in time to one time period, what would it be? <laughs> That's tough. As a history major, because I like you know learn that so you don't repeat it. Your face is looking a little red, you okay? My lips are on fire. <laughs> Absolute fire right now. I'm just gonna like sit them in the milk. Uh, I would probably have to say, not because of the war part, but World War II, because I really do believe that was one of our greatest generations. Uh, the people that all came together across the world to fight tyranny. A little runny? If you could go anywhere in the world, for free, like no restrictions, nothing. Where would you go? To the Isle, the Green Isle, Ireland. Oh, I thought you were talking about like a wedding Isle. No. I was really <laughs> confused. Ireland, my people. What's your favorite word? Sharby Taby and a bearded baby. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like the F word. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sharby Taby and a bearded baby. That is code for several words in our household. Favorite memory of being an administrator. Oh, that's a tough one. Um. Well, oh, like clearly having Rachel as my intern. I don't know if I can pinpoint one. That's tough. Okay. I, I'd say Ty, the last two graduations. I mean, just, that's what it's all, you know, the culmination. Culmination? Of school. Can you spell culmination? No, probably not. <laughs> okay. Say, say the school is running down. Okay. That would suck. And you can <laughs> and you can only save one person, but Miss Owens and Mr. Love were trapped. Who would it be? Snap. <laughs> only one, Miss Owens or Mr. Love, and I have to choose. You have to choose one. You don't have time to go back in and get another one. Chivalry. I gotta say, Miss Owens, she's got more kids. <laughs> would you rather know when you die or how you die? Neither. Um. If you had to choose. When I die or how I die. Yeah, so like if you knew the exact day and time, <clears throat> so if you knew like exactly like what happened. What? What? Instead of when. Really? Yeah. So like even if it's like a car accident, every time you get in a car, you're just going to be like paranoid? Live like you're dying. Tim McGraw. 
He's not dead. Why'd you do that? Because he had a barbecue stand on his white t-shirt. I've got burning lips. <laughs> it somehow connects in my head right now. If you were an animal, what would you be? Oh, Monkey. Why? I have to fling poo. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're funny. Favorite sports memory at Marshall? Oh. That's a tough one, but I'm gonna go Unified State Championship. Not because she's standing there. It is good, because it's the only one we have. Someone had a gun to your head and said, seeing every, seeing the lyrics to a song word for word, what song would you choose? Simon and Garfunkel, Cecilia. I would choose Cold Creek. Okay. Still hate Miss Lynn. Seniors, I hope you know that's for you. I'll be in the restroom if you need me.